Hi, welcome back. Today is technically day 20 of the paintings that I'm going to be doing of the challenge. In reality, it is a few days past that. Um, I think it was Thursday night. I, I just sat down and I might put a clip of what it looked like. Um, I sat down and I was like trying to pick out my photo to use and I was having such burnout. Like I was looking and I wasn't, I just wasn't feeling it. I don't, like it sounds so I just wasn't feeling it. So I'm not gonna do it. No, I was just like staring at the canvas and I, like I kept trying to pick a different photo to use and it just it wasn't working. And I mentally was just like, checked out. And I'm procrastinating because I don't think I found a picture that I really want to work on. Yeah. So I decided what was best for me was to take a night off and then when I woke up I felt better but I still was like I, I need this time. I need, I need a little bit of a rest. So I took three days off and Really, I wasn't doing much social media at all, which was also probably a really good thing because it can be really toxic to try and keep up um, with trends, with filming things. Then you're also comparing yourself to other people's journeys, which everyone says, don't do that. You know, oh, I don't, everyone does it, let's be real. So, you know, I'm human, I'm guilty. I'm like, wow, they're doing so well. I wish I could do that too but my journey is my journey and I will succeed and prosper uh, when it's ready and time for me and I just got to keep going so right now we have two canvases behind me and you're like what are you doing is that two yes it is hello um, but I want to do something a little different today just to play around and get back into the swing of things kind of had a weird idea, a weird idea. Um, I also got these for Christmas. I don't really, I mean, they're nothing fancy. I got them for like 12 bucks at, at Home Goods. Um, it says, 12 vivid colors, water-based pigment ink for use on most surfaces, waterproof and light fast when dry. So they're acrylic paint pens. And I kind of want to do an acrylic base, thin, so that it can dry and then I can paint on top of it. I was going to try and do three of these, but now looking at it, like, in person, I think I just want to do two. Maybe, maybe next time I'll do three, but then I gotta move myself back further. Um, yeah, I mean, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I think I'm going to open these. I'm going to do that off camera. But I think I'm feeling a little bit of, I have this metallic gold. And I have this neon, neon, flu it's fluorescent pink. So, like, how can I play with all of these things? And I think I just want to use my hands for a little bit, which sounds really gross and disgusting. Or fun, depending on your mood. Um, for me, it's fun. And I just, I might use some other things. Maybe I'll use some cardboard. You, you can always create things. Like everything can be a tool, depending on your, your needs. Um, so yeah, so I might just experiment. I don't know if you want, should I experiment on camera? Would that be fun? Or do you want to watch a time lapse? Hmm. How about I start and then, then we'll switch to a time lapse. That'd be fun. Okay. The gold. What do I want to do though? <laughs> now, I have this image in my head. That's how it always starts. But I don't know um, how I want to proceed. 
Yeah, I think I'm going to rip this box up that I have and use that. And I just got paint on myself. Whoa, look how cool that looks, huh? <laughs> that was fun. Mm -hmm, let's see. You're like, Rachel, have you lost your- <gasps> I have. I have lost my bloody mind. If I told you what I did just now, you'd be like, why are you wasting paint? I just literally dumped all this acrylic paint on my body and my floor and my chair. Oh man. All right, well, let's, let's, let's do this. Now, I don't want it to be a lot of uh, acrylic paint here. Um, just enough so that when I paint over it, because I am going to use my oils as well. I just want to get some of these base colors that are going to, because acrylics dry super fast. Um, well, at least compared to oil. Um, I really, uh, look at this. Ay, ay, ay. There is a big glob on the floor. Mm. How do I want to do this? <laughs> um, I mean, that is cool. I like that. I think I just want to smush it down though. Like I don't want it to feel... You're like, Rachel, this is so much brighter than anything you've been doing. Everything was moody. This is definitely not moody. This is vibrant. Is an understatement. Um, so, yeah, I think I'm gonna do time lapse now and just let this um, dry a little bit as I keep adding more. I'm going to use the paint pens and then the oils. So, you know, I don't know how much of this is actually going to show through or what I plan on doing, but we'll see. And I'm sure you can definitely hear my toddler in the background because he is off and about. Anyway, um, so that's where I'm going to leave that for now. I'm going to kind of do this a lot. Uh, then when it's dry I'm going to do the time lapse uh, depending on like how it's going or like if it's really vibing maybe I won't stop halfway if I need to take a little break we'll do a halfway check-in but I mean so far this is some wild crazy crazy coloring I love it yeah all right so let's see uh, I'll show you my pants there we go see the pants and uh, and show you my chair on the floor, but nobody wants to see that. So 
So I just went straight through because I was really feeling it. I don't know if you can tell, you can probably see from the video, the time lapse, I mean, um, there was lots of dancing <laughs> and lots of terrible singing. Um, so I think this is it. I, I kind of feel it. I was doing some stuff and as you saw, I like took it away because it just, I didn't like it and it wasn't working. So we figured it out. Uh, I decided to stick to the same colors that I had used with the paint pens and uh, I really like it. I think it might, some of this washed off a little bit when I was wiping away what I did before. So I think I might just go in and make it a little, a little brighter here. I can't go over the oil paint but I can go over the other stuff. So. But I am pretty freaking happy with this. This came out pretty cool. This isn't necessarily normally my style. But like, I still don't know what my style is. So maybe I'll find it while you guys are watching. This was, this was a lot of fun though. I really enjoyed this. It's like, uh, I, don't, I don't know what to call it. But I was feeling it, you know? Sometimes you just need to do what you need to do in order to feel good. Like, I was lacking creativity, so I had this idea. I just saw like these wildflowers in my head and I just saw them like kind of outlined with the paint pens. And I was gonna add like different like different things and try and make it a little more realistic but I kind of just I went with it I had fun which is always a good thing you're supposed to have fun you know I mean painting can be serious but you know it can also be fun and that's okay just adding some some little dots where I feel like adding them. Because <laughs> I can. This is fun. You know, I mean. If I wanted a serious, stuffy job, I go back to what I was doing before. Uh, you know, sometimes it's good to just let it be. Let it be. What do you think? I like it. It's crazy, but it's like me. By the way, I had another ladybug in here, so say what you will about that. Uh, I think that's, that's it for today, day 20. I'll be back with some other, some other artwork tomorrow. I felt good, I feel good now. It's like, ooh, what can I make next? And I might go back and do some more landscapes and modern landscapes or whatever, but you know, sometimes you just gotta make some, some fun, crazy art. It feels very textile. And I'm with it. Mm -hmm. If I could lick the canvas right now, I would. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Don't do that. Paints are toxic. <laughs> well, at least um, oil paints are. Let's not, not beat around the bush here. But anyway, so now that I'm fully covered in paint, I bid thee adieu. I will see you guys again. And yeah, this was fun. This was fun. Do you want to see a close up? I can do one right now. Yeah, let's do one right now. I'll do a close up and then I'll say goodbye to you. If that's cool with you. Okay, cool. So here is the close up. I don't know if you guys can see. I know my camera's moving around wonky. I'm trying to be very careful as I film this. Isn't that fun? I just feel like that is so fun. I really had a lot of fun with this one. I keep saying fun. I'm gonna say it five more times, ready? I had fun, 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 fun. 
Uh, so that's. Well, now it's really gonna be goodbye. Uh, I'm really, really, really digging it. Uh, it just feels so much better. If you're ever having serious creator block, because it is a lot of pressure to keep constantly creating stuff over and over again, uh, keep up with the demand of social media. Although, I mean, maybe we do it to ourselves, just, but, you know, art doesn't need to necessarily be perfect all the time. And, and I've been saying this from the beginning, but I don't know if I 100% meant it. And if, at least I meant it at the time. But I, when I took the three days off, I really just did puzzles and played games and like really thought about my creativity and where I wanted to go and, you know, just renewed myself. <laughs> anyway. Um, that's it. Mm -hmm. Like, comment, subscribe. Click that bell. Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> There's all these social media platforms. You can probably find me on almost all of them. Um, don't forget, Amazon is where my gratitude journal is. Link in the bio or in the description. Thanks for following and subscribing. Bye.